The U.S. Supreme Court heard arguments in cases today that will determine whether the Civil Rights Act of 1964 applies to members of the LGBTQ community. 12 News' Jade Belexa joins us in the studio with the details. Jade. Melanie, plaintiffs hope the federal law that prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, or national origin will extend to sexual orientation. U.S. Supreme Court justices heard arguments Tuesday in landmark cases regarding workplace protections for the LGBTQ community. It's been a long journey, uh, but we finally made it here. Gerald Bostock is the plaintiff in one case. He says he lost his job in Clayton County, Georgia, after joining a gay softball league. Another plaintiff is Amy Stevens, who was fired from a Detroit area funeral home after informing her boss she wanted to transition. What happened to me was wrong. We can fix that and correct it. The owner of the funeral home says he was only enforcing a gender-specific dress code. His lawyers argue the issue should be decided by Congress, not the courts. If unelected government officials are allowed to make up the law in accordance with their own policy preferences, that will hurt everyone. These are the first major LGBT rights cases to be argued in front of the Supreme Court since Justice Brett Kavanaugh replaced retired Justice Anthony Kennedy who was a key swing vote in cases that expanded gay rights. We could very easily you know, find ourselves with a lineup of a majority ruling in favor of the LGBT workers that won't necessarily sort of meet everybody's expectations of, of who falls where on the political spectrum. Passions flared outside the court. With protesters from both sides, some were arrested during a sit-in. The plaintiffs received star power support from actress Laverne Cox, who is transgender. It should not be okay to discriminate against someone simply for being who they are. A decision in the cases is not expected until sometime next spring. In this current Supreme Court term, justices will also hear cases on abortion and immigration. Melanie.